Hallelujah. Hi, welcome in. December 24. Adorned by God's doctrine. Exhort bond servants to be obedient to their own masters, to be well-pleasing in all things, not answering back, not pilfering, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. Titus 2, verses 9 to 10. The island of Crete was known for its corruption and many false gods. It was also the center of the jewelry trade. Thus, the use of the word adorn in the above passage may have been intentional by Paul due to this fact. The greater the corruption, the greater your light can shine. It is not a time to flee but it is a time to shine brighter. Crete was a difficult place to live as a Christian. Paul addressed five unique things believers could do. One, be obedient to their masters and submit to their authority structures. Two, be well-pleasing in all things. This meant doing their work with excellence. Three, don't answer back to negative people. They were to handle conflict with wisdom and courtesy. Four, don't pilfer. They were not to steal, but to model integrity. Five, show all good fidelity. This meant demonstrating loyalty and dependability. I once heard a talk about an industry survey that revealed the average person will encounter hundreds of people over the course of a year through their work. What better opportunity to let your life be adorned by the doctrine of God? We should all be a living message of the gospel through our life, whether in word or deed. Question, do you find your environment difficult to work in? The answer is to live to glorify the Lord in the midst of your culture. Father, I pray that my life demonstrates the love and power of Christ today to others.